Hello. Right, I'm going to do um, a session on core stability. Um, I think it's really important. I, I like clock back into it um, at times as well. Just to kind of, it's just like, obviously it's a bit slower and it's getting you to work on your deep, deeper core muscles. And obviously in Pilates, it's touched upon um, during, um, but obviously it's not solely focused on because there's obviously a little bit of, well, a, there's a complete mixture of stuff um, that needs to be covered in a session. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of, it's a, just gonna be a shorter session, just kind of um, focused on, like I say, core stability. Right, so we're gonna start lying on our backs. So from there, lie yourself down. And I just want you to create some awareness on the mat. So kind of your feet, just make sure you kind of not, your knees are not knocking in. You're not having the knees fired out. So you're nice and aligned. So you wanna make sure you have alignment correct first through obviously anything but just to help you with the exercises so just making sure that when you're lying on the mat obviously if you if you if you're lying you're relaxed your stomach is going to just pop up and your ribs will flare up and everything but create some awareness and i want you to pull in sink in obviously not squeezing in but i just want you to have that awareness that that little bit of a pull at your core so from there just keep it pulled in and we're just going to move each arm in each leg so we're going to take one arm overhead and then you're going to take it back again sink in with your core we'll do the other arm so take it over take it back and again so if you want to put your hand to your core and if you find that it's okay to your arm over and you're not, it's not bringing it up, then that, this exercise is fine. It's good. Right, we'll just do one more. So just make it even for both and then take it back. Right, now you just make sure you're on a mat. If you want to do this on the floor, you can't do it because you're going to be moving your heel away. And sometimes on a mat, it just rolls up, which is really annoying. But I'll give it a go anyway. So you're gonna just take your toes up again, create that way. If you want to have your hands actually at your core, you can't do so thumbs at the belly button in a kind of a diamond shape, and you're gonna kind of brush your heel away. If you can't get it straight, brilliant. If you can't without sacrificing your form and arching your back or anything like that, then you just wouldn't take it all the way out. Just make sure that you're not doing that. Again with your breathing, if you want to breathe in as you go away and then breathe out as you come back in or if you re reverse, whichever is better for you. So again, if this is your range and you come back in, that's absolutely fine. So if you keep your hands at your core, when you take your foot away, you want to sink in, just realise when you get to that point, I mean you might not get that point, but if you get to that point where you your back arches and your stomach comes up. Then you don't want that. So you just wouldn't go that far. Yeah. And you might feel if you're quite strong in your core, that's just quite easy. But if you pull in a bit more and you focus elsewhere, because you might find that you've got tight hips or a tight lower back. So I've got a tight lower back, that other parts move and you don't you want to really try and fixate everything to stay still. So from here, you want it to stay still. Right, we'll just do one more for each. And one more. Right, just let that relax and just, again, I'm gonna keep coming back to this just to relax it a little bit so you don't feel like it's really tightened up and you don't want to feel it at your hips as well because you don't want to tighten here. Right, so the next bit, we are going to focus on toe tap progression. So, toes down. And then again, we don't want to feel the same with hips. We want to be able to make sure we're working out our core. And so again as well, if it's 
going to be hurting anyway, make sure you opt out or if it's hurting to the point where you really can't do it, opt out. If it's just muscle pain, just make sure you're breathing, yeah, and re regress if you're finding that your back is often. Yeah, right, so breathe out, take the leg up, bring it back down. Just to start with, we're just gonna lift from the knee, and then I'm gonna progress it. So you're gonna keep the knee joint still from the hip. Right, if you can, I think I'm going to start doing a little bit there. Try and keep your knee still and move from your hip. So the leg, yeah, your leg is moving the, from the hip and your knee, not your knee. Yeah, see, the bottom part of your leg is not coming up and down. Yeah, it's staying still so from the hip. Breathe out, breathe in. So if that is your max, please stay with that and keep going with this Re and rest when needed. To get better, to improve, you can keep, if you keep coming back to this video, if you are doing your regression, you would just stick doing this the whole way through I'm doing the next bit. When you get to the point where you can get better, take one leg up without bringing the stomach up, so have your hands to your stomach, bring the other leg up, and then take it down one at a time. Again, you don't wanna be squashing your stomach with your hands, because you want your, you want your deep core muscles to be working. And again, we all have our weaknesses, so you might come up a tiny bit, so you would just keep working at it. Done one leg solely with swap sides. Don't worry, after this one, we're going to do a little bit of a counter stretch. So it's not going to be straight into the next bit because I mean, it might look like it's quite easy, but it's really not. <laughs> right, from there, just rest it down or just keep leaning for both sides. Again, Round an arch, ease it off. Again, your improvement, your next bit. So again, if you're doing it in slots, this is your next bit. So what you do now is you would take the legs up to tabletop and then you would tap down and then take it back up. In. If you're reaching your max where it's not all the way down the floor, that is absolutely fine. Just do what is better for you. Because if you get to that point where you come to the floor and you arch your back, you don't want that. You want to be making sure your core is staying strong and your back is staying down to the floor. Because if it is arching, your core muscles are going to switch off. Yeah. So you want that switched on. You want your you want to be strengthening up your lower back here, strengthening up your deep core muscles. Right, just do one more each. Just make it even. And just tuck it in. Again, round. Feet down, just arching. Round. And then from there, we're going to flip over and we're going to come back. To here because if we do all line all the net well the next ones I'm gonna do you can be like oh god what we're gonna do next we're gonna move <laughs> right palms in and just bring yourself back push the bum back walk the hands out right we're gonna go into a pointer this is it well in a quadruped position and then we're doing pointer so Again, stabilizing. Again, you will be 
from the arms. We'll do a tiny bit with the arms, um, but more for the legs. So from there, take it out one at a time is your first option. So either arm, either leg. Just do that and just scoot. So I'm just gonna readjust. And then obviously your next one would be opposites. Again, you're using your center to stabilize or opposites where you come up again if that's too much though you would just stick with the previous right from there take it back in we're just going to do the legs and we're going to tap the toe so from there you can have the leg straight and you're just going to lift the leg and tap the toe. Get your core switched on so you're staying stabilised. Right, just do two more. One more. And then take it down. Swap the legs. Again, if you need to push back, push back. Come back in. Take it away. Take it up. Again, focusing on that centre. Right, two more. One more. And take it in, push the bum back. Right, I'm going to come out of our front. So come out your front, that's my knee cracking. I am the worst Pilates instructor for knees cracking and whatever. <laughs> Never mind. Um, right, so what you can do, I'm going to try and what you do is you put your hand, hands down and your head first in there. Um, I'm going to talk because I'm going to have my chin resting here so I can talk without you, so you can still hear us. So what you're going to do, I'm going to start by bending the knees and you're just going to lift one as much as you can. Just put, put my head down and then take the other one up back down again create some awareness so pull in hollow your stomach back off the mat you may find you lean to one side try and try and keep yourself in the middle So again, you might find you struggle coming up. And then from there, make it even, straighten the legs. We're going to do it from straight. If you want to keep them bent or if you find it's better from straight, we'll do it from straight and we'll stay there. So straighten, keep it up, down. I feel like it's a little bit easier because I can bring my leg up a little bit more. But again, you don't want to focus on the height of the leg because if you do that, you're just going to want to tighten this lower back. Yeah? So you just want to get it so you're pulling your core in and so you can actually pull in to create that lift. Yeah? So if it's creating tension, unwanted tension that you just hurting, obviously you just would opt out. Um, choose the easier one, whichever is better for you. Right, from there, we're going to add in. So, bend the neck legs again. You're going to bring the leg up, straighten it out, and then take it down. Bring it in, other leg. Lift it up, straighten it out, take it down, bend it in. Other side, so bring it up, straighten it out, take it down, back in, other side. Take it up, take it out, down, back in. Right, straighten the legs. We're going to stick with one side and then do the other. So take it up, bend it in, take it out, take it down. Same again, lift, bend, in, down. Again, if it's hurting the lower back, you just wouldn't do it. I'm doing it wrong. Lift, in, 
So you want to be pulling your core in so you can help to lift this leg. You don't want to lift the hip, you want to be lifting the leg. Right, so I think that's three or four. Swap sides. Take it up, take it in, take it out, take it down. One more. And down my counter stretch, palms down. Round the back, head down. Right, from there, coming back on the over back. So, whichever is the easiest way, I just made it completely harder for myself there. Right, now we're going to add in. So, we did with toe, um, toe tap progression, and now we're going to add in the arms. So, it's going to be a bit like a dead bug sort of thing. But with feet down to start with, so that's the easier one. So, opposite leg, opposite arm. Or if you want to do this, we'll do one arm, one arm, one leg at a time to start with. So, one leg up, take it down. Other leg up, take it down. One arm away, take it down, take it back up. Other arm away. Right, now I'm going opposite. So, opposite leg up. Opposite arm away, take it down, opposite, take it down. And again, again, trying the best to keep the movement coming from the hip, not from the knee. Take it down, um, yeah, take it down. <laughs> right, so keep with that if you want. Progression, the legs would come up and you would tap the toe down. Right, so opposite arm, opposite leg, back up. Opposite arm, opposite leg, back up. Right, four more. And we've got one last bit to do. Last time. And tuck it in. Well, right, last bit again. I'm going to go through the easier ones, work my way up. Again, stick with the easier one if that's better for you. Right, so from there, you are gonna come up into a bridge. So we're just gonna do a couple pelvic curls to start with. So take it up, curl it down. And two more, curl it up. Just working through the spine, controlling up and down. The third one, you're gonna stay up. From here, without, you wanna put your hands at your hips, you can't do. You're gonna take one foot up, take it down. You wanna shuffle in a little bit more, you can do. Up, back down. Again, pulling in from here. If this is no good for you from here, you can just do it with the toe taps again. Yeah? So this is just a, another exercise, another progression sort of thing. Really focusing in on bracing in at your core. And again, you probably move a little bit. You might move a lot. So if you are moving a lot, I just don't want you hanging off your, so hanging off your hips, hanging off your arms. Your hands are just gonna be there for a little bit of support. Not fully putting your weight of your hips and your body into your arms. So, ease it off. Come down. So that's your first progression. Your next one. So come back up. You would take the leg away, back in, and then swap. And two more. Back in, take it down. Right, this time the leg is going higher. Take it up. Taking the leg up, back down. Taking the leg up, back down. We'll just do two more. Back down, away, and back down. Take it down. This time, again, use your regressions every time for these next bits, or try them out, but as long as it's better for you, as long as it's okay for you. So come up. Keep one leg up, keep it up, and you're gonna 
straighten and bend. Staying here. Two more. One more. And take it in. Come down. Come back up. Stay here. Take your other leg up. Take it away. Back in. Three. Three more. Last two. Two. One more. Take it in. Slow it down. Right, this time. We're going to lift, hold, take it out, hold, come back down. So come up, take it up, hold, one foot up, hold, hold it, keep the hips up, pull the core in, take the leg away, hold, take it back in, hold, take it down, all the way down, come back up, last time, foot up, hold, Away, hold, stay strong, keep the hips in line. Take it back in, hold, take it down, hold, um, and then come all the way down. Ah, done, spot on. Right, just tuck in. We'll just do a couple of um, kind of lower back-ish, sides-ish stretches. Um, hips more. More, more hips, just a few. Right, so cross the feet over. Grab a hold of the sides of your feet if you can. And just tuck them in. And then just a little rock side to side. And then swap. Pull them in. Little rock side to side. And take it in. Right, from there, take one foot across and just turn the inside, you're gonna push it away. And then use off, hands gonna come through, gap. You're gonna pull back, so you're gonna now feel at the outside of that hip. Ease it off, swap it through. And then again, at the inside. So all these kind of stretches, I know you they think, eh, why is why should you get this to stretch the hips? But obviously, obviously everything's linked and you know that. But because these are so close, take your hands through, take it through. Because all these are so close, they tend to get really tight. So your hips and your lower back are getting, it will get really tight. So if you, if you ease off your hips, that's gonna help your lower back. Obviously, then you can stretch your lower back out better because you've stretched your hips. And ease it off. Well, right. From there, roll onto your front. And palms in line, the shoulders, if you can, or forearms in front, and you can stretch there. So that's the easier one. So if that's better for you, stick with that one. You don't have to do the harder ones, only if they're better for you, like I say. So otherwise, if you want to, if you want a bigger stretch, palms underneath the shoulder, and then rise it up. And then just, just hang out. Again, if it's no good for you, counter stretch it, do the opposite stretch. So with, with child's pose, which I'm getting to anyway. And just stay there a bit longer if this is no good. Every time you breathe out, you should feel it a little bit more, your lower back. Just not the abs and back. Right, sink it down. Can't stretch. So take it to a child's pose, but you're gonna take your knees together, closer together, and you're gonna have your head down, hands by your feet, or hands at your feet, sorry, and pull, pull your feet, and you're gonna re try and round the back. And you're gonna pull your core in a little bit. So that's gonna help you round that lower back. And then just sweep the arms around. You went with a child's pose. Take the knees to the widest point of the mat and sink it down. And lift the head, walk it back. And that's you done. Yeah, so 
hopefully that's helped and hopefully if you're going to continue with this video and try and improve your core strength and um, then try and practice and go through the harder ones otherwise when I go through the harder ones just stick with your regression and that'll help you get stronger as well and um, yeah cool so yeah hopefully that's helped and I'll see you soon bye